thank you to hear us. We are starting our campaign to celebrate the 10 years anniversary of LCF Group. LCF stands for Lecture Compliance First and many other companies that you know that has the same acronym LCF. We started with the legal counsel firm, also LCF, a Zolo firm in Angola. And we understand as a law firm that education is the most important element to succeed in any field. So we associate education with a law firm. Because we are, Angola is a country with, we speak Portuguese, we decided to include English lessons to lawyers and support professionals. And we like it, we like the taste. Then we decide growing inside the educational area. We are so happy what we have accomplished in these 10 years, mainly on the social responsibility side. When we introduced the company, the first thing we mentioned it's our vision, we, what we want to achieve. Our vision is to create, expand a new mentality. And we call this new mentality a firm. You heard about it. A firm stands for A, for attentive, because we believe that we can go anywhere in the world with this attentive mentality, with attentive, because it's important to pay attention to everything. Even, we, even when we are tired, we can be attentive. Let's forget the copy paste. Let's forget all those things. We need to, to have this attentive mentality. Then the F stands for firm. Let's be firm on what we believe, on our values. Then the E, the first E, because our firm has double E, the first E is executive. Let's do it. Let's don't say we will do. Let's make it happen. Then we have the R of respectful. If we respect our elders, if we respect the other people close to us, we will be happy every day. And we are going to be good professionals everywhere. Respect laws. Respect everything you can. After the R, the R, we have the M. M as a motivator. Let's inspire the people. Let's be motivated. When someone comes with that, yeah, don't say you can't. Say you can Motivate the person. When the person is doing something well, motivate them. Give them prizes. At LCF Group, we were nominating the best employee. We were giving some prizes in December, which is the month of giving. Let's motivate each other. Then you have the last E, an offer, which is exemplar. Let's be them. You don't know who is following you. Now with the technology, we have followers on what on tweets on on on, on the Twitter on the Facebook. We have followers, but in life we have followers, real followers. So we need to be careful what we are doing in our real life. Because as a lecture compliance first company, we always talk about due diligence. Everyone is controlling your due diligence what you are doing. So this is the affirm mentality. We would like to create and expand this affirm mentality, mainly to honor our Africa. It's why this affirm mentality is to advocate Africa with education and integrity. And this is a special country. I would like 
to talk a little bit today because I spent some time during this 10 years of LCF to Cape Town University doing some studies over there, which is South Africa. South Africa is a country that you have a lot to learn from them. It's so proud when you see South Africans win all the barriers they have from the racism, from the struggling of the extreme poverty, and they're dealing as equal. This is what we believe. It's why we have this vision of global education. With this affirm mentality, we can go anywhere in the world. You'll be fine. Because you are advocating education and integrity. It's, it's this affirm mentality. Thank you very much for those 10 years. Because on the business plan, we put that in 10 years we want to give an opportunity to a thousand people to offer jobs for, ta for, for a thousand people. And we achieve 1,060. Including Americans, Nigerians, Indians, Brazilians. But most of them Angolans, because I'm from Angola, and we start the company in my own country. But I used to say that LCF Group is not anymore just Angolan, because we are here in the US since 2013. Thank you, clients. Thank you, investors. Thank you, ministers, for the prayers. Thank you, everyone. Because alone, I could not do this. It, because the motto of this company is working together works. You are following us in those 10 years and you heard many times that working together works. But let me tell you what really, not only the, the, the thousand people that we gave the opportunity to come inside us, and to learn about the vision of the mentality affirm. But we created this company based on the 30 ethics principles. Because if we are advocating integrity in our vision, in our mentality affirm, we needed to start with ethics. And we have these 30 ethics principles that we call shapes. It's why we wanted to put out this magazine called shapes because women are the one that can shape the education of the children and it's going to be a women magazine we are starting already african women magazine and the shapes are c c is confidentiality we need to understand that you are working in life even in education on lawyer on anything you need to have this ethical principle of confidentiality. We need to break this to talk about professional things on a, as a personal matter. You don't compete when you do it. Then the second C is a C of capacity. We always need to build capacity. We need to share knowledge. We, we, we can't not be afraid to share knowledge. If I share knowledge, I'm, I'm helping other people. And I'm learning more. Because when we're sharing, you are, not, you, are, you are learning to. The third C is competency. We have to be competent. If, if someone asks us to do a, a job on Monday, let's present it on Sunday. Let's, let's present always before they're expecting. Because results are more important than expectations. And then you have the fourth See, which is communication, is what we are doing here. Sharing with you the, our happiness, which is an, one, one of our shapes, our happiness during these 10 years. Even though financial crisis, even though bad lessons on those 10 years, but the overall is that we meet what we have planned with this mission of valuing human capital. On our business plan, the first 10 years, it's valuing human capital. It's employing. 
is to pass the mentality of her, is to pass these 30 shapes, ethics, principles. And the last C is C of creativity. We need to be creative. We need to innovate all the time. And those 10 years, I'm telling you, we did it. Then we have the ages. The first age is humbleness. We need to be humble. If I was not humble, I would not stand here right now saying that we are celebrating this 10 years. The company already gone. <laughs> because you have to understand that you cannot do anything alone. The motto working together works is real. You need to be humble and say thank you. You need to be humble to recognize when you are not correct. Because in life, we, most of the times, you are not correct. Then the second age is honesty. We need to be honest. You need to avoid lying. Because with the due diligence, it's very easy to find out when you are lying. The third age is the age of hard, wise work. People don't want you to be just hard working, working 17 hours a day. Then you cannot do a timesheet. Then you cannot say what you did on the 17 hours a day. You need to be hard, wise work. You need to work wisely. You need to charge per hour. You need to know what you are doing this hour. Then we have the fourth age of homogeneity, which matches with our motto, working together works. We are different, but we are the same. We are human. The human being put us as homogene, not heterogene. And then we have an age after humbleness, after honesty after hard wise worker after homogeneity and then we have the happiness as I mentioned before we have to be happy we all the time have problems you don't know what person is passing through but the smile must be there let's leave the problems at home with the family when we come to work we need to be happy because you don't know what co-worker is being through let's be happy to win as a professional, it's what we are here, to help you on the legal side, as a law firm, on educational business, on the social responsibility, which has the three legs, we are here to help you. Then after the ages, shapes, C-H-A, you have the A. The A, the first A is Africanity. As I mentioned before, we are here, that's why I'm wearing this. We are here to honor our Mama Africa. I'm, I'm like many other Africans. I'm a, a woman made by women. I lost my father when I was very little. And you just understand how African women are. We are strong. And our sun men, they are stronger. Sometimes they think, but we are strong, all together as Africans. So the first A, as ethical principle, is African. We need to honor. We need to respect where your, your roots are coming from. The second A is agility. The world is dynamic. The world is so dynamic. Let's don't wait. Let's, let's be agile. agile. To do things. The third A is A of acumen. You need to believe. You need to be a believer. You need to understand that it is a superior strength that someone is doing for you. Then the fourth is audacity. Let's 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 believe. Let's 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 present it. And the last which is the same of their firm mentality is the A of attentive. We are repeating on ethics principles and the vision. And after the, sh the A of Shay, we have the P. The first P is proactivity. Don't wait. Initiate things. Let's be proactive. Don't, don't wait for your superior, to your boss, 
to your supervisor, to your coordinator, to your director, tell you what you have to do. As soon as you have the task, do it. Be proactive. Don't be reactive. The second P is a P of punctuality. It's very important. We have in our walls, in our offices, these shapes. And when the client come and see the P of punctuality, they feel okay. They're going to be on time. And even my work is going to deliver on time. After the punctuality, we have the perspicacy. We have to, you have to go farther on your research, on your studies, on your continuing education. Then don't be just happy with MBA and you're not self-studying. You need to study every day. Reading every day is the P of perspicacy. Then we have the prudence. Even though you need to be agile because of all this dynamic, you need to be careful. You need to be prudent. Then we have the E. The E's are efficacy, efficiency, Exigence, we need to be exigent with ourselves. Don't wait, don't claim when your supervisor is exigent with you. We are exigent with the people when you care about those people. If someone is exigent with you, it means it care, care about your career, care about you. Efficiency and last one is exemplarity. We need to be an example all the time. Don't be sad when your supervisor is citing another person. You see, because the world is comparison, benchmarking, those the words of comparing, rankings, it's all about comparing. Don't have this losing mentality. Don't compare me with other people. You can't control it. It's a benchmarking world. It's a ranking world. It's the top, the best. Those words are there. So be simple. And the last one is the S of shapes. The S of solutions. The S of sustainability. The S of sapiens. Those are the shapes. Then we have the S of sacrifice. When we create those shapes, are even on the disciplinary processes on our human resources, we follow those 30 shapes to see if our employees are following them. Every year they must sign a declaration saying if they comply or not. And when they are living, we know that they are living with shapes on their blood. Of course, we don't have the 1,060 employees up to now. We have less than 100. But I'm happy here. Because I know wherever they are, they have the shapes on their blood. They not forget it. They don't have just LCF group on their CV. They have shapes and the mentality affirmed on their body and soul. Thank you, God. Usually people say, don't mix God with the business. But I have to thank God. I have the acumen principle to comply. And the thing that is making us happy, happier and happier, it's about the corporation social responsibility mission we have. We have organized on those 10 years more than 60 events. People don't pay to participate. Every, every week we have Thursdays of human capital to promote debate about sustainability objectives, reducing poverty, fighting corruption, it's one, it's inside our bloody on the vision because we are, we are, we are elevating and we are advocating integrity. 
and we motivate our employees to use this white like a doctor like a teacher but these educators of ethics we would like you to understand that with the with the 30 shapes that we just talking about we are educating people and with this word working together works we are motivated to do so are 10 years of happiness are 10 years of you spend your last dime to put another person happy are 10 years that you were able to send Angolans who never travel abroad to United States, to UK, to Portugal, to South Africa. For 10 years where you have given opportunity to a speaker, because when someone gives you opportunity to do your show, please do your show. And we are happy to have more than a thousand speakers. We promote people. Because our mission on those 10 years was valuing human capital. It's changing from 2019. Now we are granting compliance, productivity, and sustainability. It's why we are very focused on technology now. Next year, it's granting compliance, productivity, and sustainability. Because you, on the first 10 years, we train people. On this 10 years, we are going to grant compliance, productivity, and sustainability. Even if I will not be here as a founder, just this vision on granting compliance, productivity, and sustainability with technology, I am happy. And I know whoever is going to lead this, because I suspect that God has something prepared for me on the next 10 years. Because I'm a people person. And now we are more on the technology, on the money side. But thank you for that. I would like to finish inviting you for two big events. Are going to be the two big events and the product. We have three moments this 2018 to celebrate the 10th anniversary. I'm going to talk about first the two events, the corporate social responsibility. Then I will talk about the product we will put for you. The two events are going to be also the third events for each of them. One is going to be held in Angola, another one is going to be held in the United States, both in October, because the month of LCF group is October. We were funded in October 1st, 2008. The event in Angola is the Symposium of Valuing African Human Capital. We organized it too already. We receive people from Ghana, from Kenya, from South Africa, from Nigeria, from Zimbabwe, from Lesotho. We all in Angola, they, they have never been. All they are my sisters and brothers. Thank you so advocating Africa. We are doing the third one. This one, we want to be bigger. We want to receive one ex-president of African countries. We will prove to the world that ex-presidents, they have lessons to share with us. I'm going to challenge President Kikwete. He was president of Tanzania and president of African Union. Come on, on our third African Union. on our way, on our small way of African Union, is our symposium of valuing African human capital. We just debate there, education and integrity. And in the last two, we finish all the two days at 10 p.m. No one wants to leave because we are debating the two big points for our continent, education and integrity. How we are gonna dispute with international human capital from other nations if we don't have those two tools very strong in our blood. The second event is going to be here in the United States. It's going to be the third one. We call FAFEC, Advocating Africa 
perfect advocate in Africa. It's what we did here at JW Marriott last 2016. Farfetch means Forum of African Finance, Economy and Compliance. We just talk about banking between Africa and the United States. We have World Bank as a speaker always. Thank you for that. It's a good event, but this year is going to be bigger because we are going to focus on women. Sorry, men, but far fact in October, all the speakers are going to be women. And we're going to talk about finance, economy, how the economy in our countries are, how we're related with, our, with the China, with India, with the United States, how why people go to our countries just because of natural resources. Why they don't go there for tourism. Why they don't go there to enjoy with us and bring economies out from the natural resources. And how we are managing our natural resources. How the next generations are going to ask us how we manage their natural resources. Because natural resources don't belong to us. Because even to the next generations. This is far fact. And we all of them in that FAFEC, we need to call FAFEC advocating Africa. We are advocating Africa. It's why we do FAFEC outside of our continent. And then we have the third, the, the product. That I think is a product that we want to do it because when you do something when you face the problems, you do better the solutions. And since we are facing the problems, it's a, it's, a, it's a software to fight corruption, to elevate integrity. I cannot tell too much because secrets is a business. But it's this, this line is a product we are going to put out this 2018. Please trust us. Buy this compliance product from LCF Group. Let's work in together on this process of elevating compliance. Compliance starts with individuals. So you, that you are here, this, contact us. Contact LCF group. You're going to have the contacts back here on this video. And you can contact us and see how you can be a more ethical person. How you can advocate compliance with us. How on your CV you are going to have that you have this compliance course with us. Thank you very much. I have to comply with the time that was giving. I could stay here talking all the time. But thank you very much. It's my pleasure working, advocating Africa. It's my pleasure being an educator of ethics. It's my pleasure working with you. To do our contribution for a better world. Working together works. Thank you.